one of the ways of uh, creating offenses and searches for events in Curator, which is actually very powerful, is the taxonomy of uh, event categories. And there are high-level categories, like the one we are seeing here, Recon, DDoS, Authentication Access, Malware. Let's click on one of them, Malware, for example. And there are the low-level category, which are, you know, more specific uh, things, like uh, you are seeing in here, uh, Keyloggers, if you want to look for those specifically. We're going to be creating a rule that fires on a specific category and we're going to select the system category and here you see you know, there, there are very many of them and the one that we are going to be looking for is when s uh, an action is uh, done that uh, is, is somebody has the access to do that but I want to monitor when when those uh, very powerful actions are, are taking place and that specific action it's going to be uh, system action allowed okay so let's go to the curator system and we're gonna start I know that there is uh, one of those events in this system but you don't have to start with events that are already firing that you have seen it you can actually select the, the special category and probably do, do something like this I'm gonna create a, uh, a search that is going to look for that specific category so when I go into uh, create a new search and I, I'm going to make it a uh, real time and I'm, I'm not going to modify the columns in here I'm going to go down here and I'm going to select uh, precisely category and in the category I'm going to actually select which is the high level category and we said it's going to be system and which is the low level category which is system action allowed let me scroll down here system action allowed and that's the one that we are going to be adding as a filter so we specify the filter and we have that search waiting for that event to happen because it's on, on, on real time In this demo system, the way I replay the attacks and I simulate, you know, that the actual events are happening, is by using the right-click option in Curator. So I'm here on the. I just need to get any IP address and right-click on it. And when I go to Plugin Option, which is what I put on the right-click, this personal record is the one that fires that particular event. Right. So here the event fires. Uh, and I'm going to go to the log activity and sure enough I see the event actually happening now what I can do at this particular point is I could create a rule that fires on this uh, specific category but before I do that I want to show you the event uh, in detail so I'm going to pause this and let's take a look at this particular event this is a select succeed uh, from an Oracle audit. Uh, so what data do we have in here that we can also create the, the rule on? Well, I can monitor everything that SysDBA uh, does, which is obviously a system administrator, uh, probably a DB, uh, a DB admin. I can look at the content of the actual rule and see, you know, if I want to, I could even select a specific property in here uh, and more of that on a, on, a, on a later video how you get uh, custom properties from 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 logs uh, but I can also get more information about it well of course we have destination IP port and all that all that information but we can if we click on this map event section what we have is more specific data about the event one is for example, we see the log, uh, the, the log source type. Uh, but the, the important one here is QID. QID is a way that Curator assigns a specific ID to to events that, that we can manipulate them by via of that QID. Of course, in here is telling us that the high level category system and the low level category system action allow. We knew that because that's what we actually created the search for this particular event. But we could also manipulate 
the event, and we're going to do that later by the QID. And notice that under this high and low level category, there are gazillions of specific things that you can actually uh, be uh, uh, dealing with here. But we're going to be, you know, selecting uh, just that uh, that particular event. Let's create the rule then on firing on any one of these high and low level category of, of events that we are actually seeing here. So you see the list is really uh, pretty big. And this is just one of the subcategories on the on the curator taxonomy. So let's go ahead and create that rule. To do that, we go back to all, all the log events and we're going to uh, create a rule. We're going to go to rules from here and we're going to add a rule and we're going to make it a, a, an event rule. New event rule, we're going to make it flows and or common or offense rule, but we're going to, this is just an event, a log event. And what we're going to be looking in here is we're going to deal with categories, right? And we type just category there, and this is the one that we want. When the event category of the event is one of the following categories. So we select here that. We are going to specify that the category that we are looking for events, as we did before, is the high level is going to be system, as we saw on the, on the manual. And the low level category is going to be system allowed, system action allowed. So <clears throat> we add that and we submit that and we have that specific category being selected. We're going to give this a name. We're going to put it this alpha so they show at the beginning and show that this is something that I'm testing here. Uh, and I'm going to call this a rule that fires on system action. System action allow. Okay. Now we can select where do we want to store those and classify those rules so, so we don't have way too many of them. I'm not going to uh, do that uh, right now. And here is the important part. We need to actually click here to say that uh, the detected event is part of an offense and we can specify how we want to index the offense by, let's say I want to do it by username. Uh, we can annotate here and, and, and put some comments that I want to put on the actual event that, that shows when people see the event. We can, you know, uh, uh, coalesce all the events. Uh, uh, what else we can do? We can, and as, as we have shown in other videos, we can, you know, trigger a shell script, a scan, uh, send, send emails, all, all the things that we can actually uh, do in here. But what we want to also do is, in this particular case, is uh, dispatch another event as a consequence of this offense fire. And we're going to call this uh, offense fire for system allowed. I mean, this is just uh, any comment in here and in the description. I'm going to put C above. Uh, and we can specify, of course, the, the severity. And let's make that a 10. Uh, of course, we want to make sure that these uh, uh, fires and offenses. We said that we also want to sort this one by username and in here we can specify that the name that the information should contribute to the actual uh, events or, or replace uh, the, the actual information if we put it in here probably it's going to repeat the, the actual uh, description of the uh, of the rule that fire again same actions as, as we did uh, above and uh, the rule is enabled by default, so we click finish and we are all set. So now let's go back and onto the log activity. Um, I want to click again here to make sure that the, that the trap is set for us to detect that particular event. And I'm going to go 
into well let me make sure I have that search selected so we have that search only on that uh, category uh, system action allowed right so go back to the network activity to fire another of those uh, actual events so we right click and the plugin that we have uh, here, the uh, script that we want to run is this one, personal record, that generates that particular uh, offense. If we click on the log activity, we see again that the event uh, showed up. This is what, in the system 939, and that's 939, so that matches. Uh, so that's the event that we were looking for. After a few seconds, what we see is that this actual these two rules are, you know, triggering for all the events that are firing on the system. This is the one that we actually created. Offense fire for system allow. Remember that that's what we uh, type on the, <coughs> oh, excuse me, on the actual rule creation. And here's the you know the CSDBA uh, as the index uh, for the offense. So let's actually click on the actual offense and. Take a look at the rule that actually fired. So let's do display rules. And we see that that's precisely the rule we created. Now, what we're going to do is let's say that we want to look for that specific uh, event that that happened. So let's go back to the log activity. Let's make a pause here. And look at the event. And we only, I only, I don't want to fire for a, all the system allowed actions. I just want to fire on this specific select succeeded. Uh, so again, remember that we we have a QID for that. That's a, a very specific identifier. So we're going to create a rule that now fires on that uh, specific event. So we go back to the rules. We're going to create a new rule that's going to fire on a particular QID. So actual new event rule. And in here, out of, out of all the possibilities, we're going to put QID. And that precisely gets at the condition that we want. And the QID that we want this to fire upon is one, uh, what's that, 150. Zero zero one nine nine, I believe it was. Let's make a search to make sure that we that there is one. And yep, that's precisely what I want. And I want to add that. I want to submit. And I have the specific condition that fires on that. And so I'm going to give this a name. Rule that. Let me actually put the alpha at the beginning. Alpha rule that fires on. QID one four zero 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 one nine, I believe it is one nine nine. Click next, and as we did before, we're going to ensure that that's part of an offense. We're going to dispatch the new event, and we're going to call this uh, specific QID or we will call it QID. Uh, uh, select succeed from Oracle uh, and description. And again, you can we can play with the with all these parameters as we did before. We want to make sure that that uh, fires an offense, and we want this to change the name of the actual offense. Rule is enabled by default. Let's uh, go ahead and fire this again. So we are still here in the log activity, waiting for that event. This is the the, the one that occurred before 9:39 is 9:43. So let's go uh, just to get into any IP. I right click here. Use the right click option to fire that shell script that replaced my uh, particular event. And that just did that. Go back to log activity. And 
let me hit the play button again because I had this stopped and we see the event uh, actually firing here and shortly we maybe need to wait a few seconds for the actual uh, new offense to fire we go to all offenses and we didn't have to wait at all I mean the offense is uh, right here and again when we see the rule that actually fire for this offense and these are simple cases is the one looking for that particular QID so again I hope that you have seen how you can uh, analyze a particular event uh, and create rules that specifically detect that type of event or if you have not seen that event happening you can go into the categories look for the name the description the high and low level category and and and, and create uh, searches and or rules that fire on those specific uh, events this, this is this taxonomy is actually something extremely useful uh, in curator